there was no movie without Nicolas Cage being on board, that is for sure. And then, you know, it was about finding the correct uh, Javi, you know, finding, uh, and, and, you know, when we met Pedro Pascal, he came and he said, I, you know, I, he hasn't really done much comedy before, but he was like, I'm a huge Nicolas Cage fan. <laughs> and so there was so much of the Javi character in Pedro that it was sort of undeniable. We had to, we had to, and I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of his. And um, the characters that he plays or has played in the past uh, seem to be the sort of macho, like, you know, action driven characters. They're real, like, men. And uh, seeing him sort of be a, be a giant super fan and sweetly talk about what Nick has meant to him uh, started to really solidify for us exactly who the Javi character would be. Nick calls us the mind, like calls me the mind and calls Kevin the penultimate mind because he was like, he was a, uh, we tend to analyze and potentially overthink things. And I think what was interesting is so does Nick. And so when we come up, he'd know he was about to engage in like sort of an intellectualization of the scene, which, you know, when you're directing, you want to talk more about how it's, how it's feeling or, you know, or, or what we can do to make it better. And so he would be smiling when he said that and he was like oh god they want me to say some more words you know and he would be thinking about it, and he'd be like here comes the mind what are you thinking about what now and you know what was what we found was that we were always interested in making it better and so was nick and i think he found a way to sort of have fun with that with both of us